I don't know where I'd be without mine. I don't know what I'd do without him. He does everything for me. He's my baby. I never really fully appreciated what difference a guy that would actually go on to make. You know, I knew they would change my life, but not as much as they have. I've been visually impaired all of my life. I've got a condition called retinitis pigmentosa, which is a deteriorating condition. Now, the main symptoms are tunnel vision and night blindness. As I've got older, that sight's got worse. I, I don't think I could cope very well without the dog at all. I, I love having my dogs with me, it's absolutely fantastic. My guide dog, or as I call him, my mate Curtis, and actually I call him Big Fella. Um, I've had Curtis since 2013, and he's just part of the family, really. He's an ex extension of me in, in many ways. I laugh and joke with people that he you know, doesn't appear to be a, a very good guide dog. He's a bit off the wall. He's very excitable, very social, but very, very good at what he does. Um, so when he's working, when he's on his harness, um, he makes sure I don't walk into things, um, although he does like to say hello to everyone. He likes to be with me. He's, he's very much a, as you can see, lap dog. Wants to sit on me all the time and he looks after me. When I fall, he stays with me and he, he just, he calms me down. I have bipolar disorder, so it can get quite dicey either on a manic or a depressive episode. So when I'm really down, he's like this. He wants to be with me and cheer me up and he does so many silly things. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Hudson, my first guide dog, uh, and I had just had a really, really special relationship. Literally three, four months after we had qualified, um, I went through probably the hardest point of my life, which was when I actually woke up on a Saturday morning. The vision that I did have just disappeared. So I, I woke up into to complete darkness. I knew because of the condition I had, I knew that I had retinal detachments, which essentially means that my sight's gone and, it, and it's gone for good, it's, it's irreversible. So I was 19 at the time and that was really, really tough to, to deal with. And for the, for the next sort of few months after that day, uh, I was in a very dark place emotionally. And it was at that point where Hudson and I had already got off to a great start with our relationship, but this was a point where he was there for me more than just as a, to, to get me mobile, he was there for me emotionally. And that's where our bond becomes so strong because he was by my side literally for everything. I, I often say he, he saved me because I got to the point where I nearly gave up, but knowing that he's there for me and knowing that I didn't want to leave him behind, it, it, it genuinely stopped me from doing anything silly. I was policing the Hale Village Carnival where we were asked to take part in a, a tug of war with the local pub which is exactly what we did and uh, we we done best of three um, and we lost everyone unfortunately but I was the anchor man. Not long after the tug of war I had a terrible headache and I booked off duty and went home. A couple of days later I um, woke up in the night with a terrible terrible headache and um, the next thing I knew, I woke up in the Walton Neurological Centre. I knew something was wrong because I knew I couldn't see very well. And the neurosurgeon said to me, unfortunately, where you've suffered the hemorrhage was on the cerebral cortex, uh, which controls the uh, sight part of the brain, if you like. Um, so he said it's been damaged so much that uh, we we're actually going to register you blind. Then I came home. Um, and that's when my rehabilitation started and then the process started when I could walk again to apply for the dog. I've got a background um, in visually impaired sports and I'm very passionate about that and I do a lot of it in my spare time. 
I actually work um, trying to get people involved in sports and physical activity that are visually impaired. SAVI stands for sports and activities for the visually impaired. We act as an introduction to visually impaired multi-sports. I've been coming to SAVI for around six or seven years now and um, I, I really enjoy SAVI. Largely because the social side of things. We are quite a sociable group and uh, it's a good way to meet new blind people and the most important part of the day is just to have a have a conversation and a drink later in the bar. Hugo makes a big difference in my life. He's a very good worker, so he gets, gives me independence, gets me uh, on the buses, off the buses, and anywhere I want to go to. But also, um, he, he's so attractive, like his owner, that uh, he, he, he just attracts people, and um, I always get help from uh, bystanders uh, on the road or whatever. They, they'll always give me help, and they always want to pet Hugo, so I enjoy that bit as well. I've always been visually impaired. I also have a guide dog called Dixie, who I've had for six years. She's my first guide dog. Me and Dixie uh, are out and about everywhere, which I was never able to do before I had her. And we've done loads of uh, different activities together. Uh, we go to concerts, we go to the match. The first time I met her, I just fell in love with each other straight away. I think dogs in general are so amazing. They're great for people's mental health. They're great for your physical health. They get you up and doing things that you wouldn't normally do. Like, you know, you go to the park and people who haven't got a dog, they just walk past each other. They don't say nothing. But I know we know all the people in the park who've got dogs and everyone says hello to each other and it's just, it's nice. Guard dogs are just amazing. They change people's lives, working on assisted dogs, they just, they're everything to people. When I got the dogs and, it, and I was able to um, get around a lot better, uh, they made so much difference to your life and I can move around quicker. You're, you're accepted, I think, more in society as well, but they, they, they are an immense um, help to people like myself and, you know, I think that they're absolutely fantastic. Having Hudson and then Abby has literally changed my life. Not only has it given me confidence, but it's given me independence. I've been able to sort of create so many amazing memories. You know, we've been abroad together. Um, you know, having having Hudson and, and Abby sat on a on a plane with me was quite an amazing experience. But I think the the memory that sticks out the most is back in. 2014 when, when Hudson and I was chosen as a face of guide dogs for the year we, we got to do quite a few fun media engagements and one weekend uh, I, I, went, I traveled down to London it was it was mine and Hudson's first time traveling to, to London on our own which was I wouldn't have even done that with sight so, so to be able to do that without sight was, was incredible really and, and and I was confident with it you know I, I wasn't scared I knew that me and him would have no problem tackling it. There's a, um, you know, there's a lot of negatives in losing, in, in losing your sight. For me, there's been more positives that have come out of it because I, I know that I probably would never have got to do half the things I have done if I still had my sight, so it's a, the silver lining really.